you. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and uh, welcome to our kitchen. Welcome to our kitchen. Our new kitchen. So some of you may know we have moved into a flat recently. Yeah, finally. It was a long time coming um, and we will be showing you around doing some sort of a proper tour. Flat tour-ish in the future, but that'll be in another video. For this video, uh, we're in the kitchen cooking. Which yes. we never do. Joe, you know I asked on Instagram, what do you guys want to see? And so, so many people were like, you cooking. Like, not sure if you actually like doing that. Because all they see us do is eat, eat out. We eat love supermarkets and We love cooking. Love uh, cooking. Absolutely love cooking. I really love preparing food. Yeah. So do you. And I, we love eating food. I would say that you are more of the dinner, dinner cooker. cooker. And I would always sort of bake. Sous chef. Or, oh, right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Out of the two of us, because keep in mind, I've been at home all day. I work from home full time, so I'm in the kitchen. I make my lunch in the kitchen. Matt comes home, and you like to unwind by I cooking. I do, I do. So actually, a lot of the time, Matt will be in the kitchen, and I'll be on our sofa just there, just chilling. For this video, guys, we thought we would show you a full week of our dinners um, and yeah. us cooking them. And it's not any kind of dinners that we're doing this week. We are going to be cooking gusto meals yeah we've had the uh, gusto quite a lot actually over like the last year like on and off if you don't know what gusto is i'm sure you already do it's sort of like a pre-packaged food service delivery um with the ingredients for meals that you pick and there are several others like it there's gusto hello fresh hello fresh mindful chef um so if you guys like this video we're more than happy to Try. do another week of trying another place yeah um, we just like gusto we've, really we've got, got on, on with gusto mm. pretty well in the past we have selected our meals for this week and uh, we're just going to show you basically just get into it first into meal it. today we are making extra special meat-free bangers and mash all of the ingredients are here and you'll just find it all so we need those and you just grab it all out of here it's actually really good so oh, oh there goes carrot. the carrot <laughs> the reason why i am a huge fan of this kind of cooking is because I don't like faff. So no faff the needed for measurements this. or however much you need of any ingredient, you get exactly what you need. Oh. Whoa, Matthew. You need three potatoes, no, you need four potatoes, you get four potatoes. You need 50 mil milliliters of rice wine vinegar, you get that. And you know, for a lot of the things, you don't always have that in your cupboard. So you don't want to go out and buy a whole thing yeah. just for one meal so they like literally give you like these little packages with all the little bits in it i have all the little bits in it so like if you need stock that's in there what else we got here onion marmalade Ooh. Ooh. so yeah it's super super easy i guess we'll review absolutely we? we'll do a little absolutely. review and see what meals we think are best because there are some meals from gusto that we've gone back to this is obviously oh, yeah. not a what do you call it partnership or sponsorship or whatever oh, obviously um obviously unless they're interested <laughs> so we just genuinely love it and we thought why not just take you guys along for our dinners these are the sausages that they have provided this week my favorites are linda mccartney and then richmond meat free so that's what i'll be comparing that to apparently this is meant to take 35 minutes for two people so that's not too bad is it Hey Siri, Matt Siri never listens to me. Hey Siri, set a timer for 20, where are you gone? Hey Siri, set a timer for 20 minutes. Please. Please. 20 minutes. Jane. Hey Siri, see mine turns on. Hey Siri. Hi, how can I help? I think your phone's just rude. Whoa! I would say out of the two of us, you stick to the steps and I tend to skim and jump over a few. It's I? really important, honestly. It's really, really important that the tiniest thing in cooking can make all the difference. Yeah, this is Oh my god! 
I actually feel traumatized. That was so loud so that I could loud. hear my brain cells. Oh my God, the battery's gonna die. It's all happening. That was so loud. I'm not even gonna be able to properly add that in in the video because it will deafen everyone. <laughs> I, just, I just panicked and picked up that chopping board. Yeah, what were you doing? <laughs> Oh, sorry. You put the cook on oh, the gravy. Oh, oh. <laughs> mashed up potato. Okay, so hear me out. I'm going to go a little bit off book because something that mum does that she's always told me to do is like you add a little bit of almond milk or something, so I'll get that. And then what you do to make it super creamy is add some almond milk or milk of choice. You get a wooden spoon, if we have one. <laughs> there we go. That's really hot. But it just nicely combines and just give it a little bit of elbow grease. And it makes it super fluffy. There you go, mum, you'll be proud. Okay, moment of truth and just pray to anything that these fire alarms don't go off again. Okay. Hey. <laughs> the carrots are definitely darker than we would like them. You we burnt the carrots! They're not burnt. They're burnt. We did them at the right time and the right temperature and everything, so... Thank you very much. Bon appetit. So, this, okay, so this is something that we should address early on in this video. If you sit down to a meal, restaurant or homemade, and there's salt and pepper in front of you, do you put the salt and pepper on before you've tried anything? Always season your food. Genuine question. Because there have been times that we go out and you salt your food and you say that's too salty because you didn't try it first. I'm not saying don't season, I'm saying try it first. Need salt. <laughs> so we've got our mash, our very thick caramelised gravy. I love that. Three though. veggie sausages, some burnt carrots. They're not burnt, try them, they're soft, they're nice. <laughs> and some green beans. It must be the oven was too high because mm. the middle is like, it's not burnt to crisp. That gravy is the style of the show. Mmm. Mmm. It is sweet. Sausage and mash with gravy, always with gravy, is on my top five dinners. Whenever I'm, I want comfort, it's yeah. always sausage and mash or something with mash and gravy, isn't it? This is delicious. How are the sausages? Mm -mm. A little bit of like, peppery, pepperiness to them. This is, this whole meal is delicious. Mm. Those are similar to Richmond. Mm. I think anyway. If I was to rate this meal out of 10, we'll do that all this week. I'm going to give this a eight and a half out of 10. I'll join you at eight and a half. Really good. I like it. Mm. I mean, I don't know what would make it. Mm. Finish my mouthful. For me, what would make it even higher, mm. broccoli instead of green beans. Mm. That's just my personal preference. Fair enough. So that's it for the first day, guys. First meal, pretty good. Um, yeah, let's see what's on the menu tomorrow. See you tomorrow. What are we cooking tonight, Matthew? Tonight, Matthew, I'm going to be <laughs> sweet and smoky barbecue chicken fajitas. So we have our ingredients. We've got tortilla wraps, tomatoes, pepper, onion. Yogurt, natural yogurt. Spring onion. Here's all the little Season. bits. Chicken breast. And then chicken. Okay, and this apparently is going to take 20 minutes. Love that. Love a quick, quick dinner. Quick and easy. Is there only one pepper? Yep. You can chuck another one in if you like. Yeah. All goes in together. Yeah, that's what they say. Oh. <laughs> Mind you. <laughs> <laughs> Just went to go and bend now, but boom! Little bit of chilli. Nothing? 
There we go. Wonderful. Meal number two, our barbecue chicken fajitas. Shall we construct? We also Absolutely. have some. Just natural yogurt. Yogurt. And, oh, you put the spring onions on the main thing. Yeah. And then our sort of homemade salsa type thing. We would usually have guacamole as well, right? Yeah. And the yogurt is really like there as a sour cream. Yeah. So there we go. Cheers. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Do you know where I used to love the fajitas from? Mm. TJ Fridays. Really? Not been there in so long. Mm. There's one literally just around the corner, you know? Is it? Yeah. Ooh. Fajitas are not first date food. I'm going to give this a, like a good eight and a half. Yeah? I like it. I love fajitas, but I do think I preferred yesterday's meal. Mm. So I'm going to give this a seven and a half. Because I'm pretty sure I gave the, the sausage and mash eight and eight and a half. That was only yesterday. Our memories mm. are so bad. Would I get this again? Yes. Mm. Would I get the sausage and mash again? Yes. But I guess we'll see you. Tomorrow. Tomorrow's Absolutely. Dinner. Yeah. It's like they're here the whole week with I us. Know, yeah. Doesn't it feel that way? Join us tomorrow and see what we're going to eat. What's on the menu, Matthew? Fiery coconut bassa and papalut with rice. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try it. Let's give it a go. Let's do it. Going in. Please open that window. Do not set off the fire alarm. Cover your ears, folks. Some nice monster leash. This smells delicious. <laughs> Served. Oh, I'm excited for this one. Thank you. It smells delicious. Very nice. All like all their coconut dishes are always really mm. good. I'm happy with that. The whole thing's good. There is a little kick there. Yeah, not too much though, is it? No. Already, I think I prefer this to last night. The really? chicken for yeah. here. Again, so easy to make. Mm -hmm. Pak choy and edamame. Good. Three meals out of four. All good so far. Can we remember what you rated the other ones? Do you know what? I, I think I can. I think yesterday I gave seven or seven and a half. I think I gave eight. And I think the sausage and mash was eight or eight and a half. Mm. I'm going to give this. Did I go too low with the sausage and mash? That's why I'm starting to really I think. I think you gave it a nine. It was really good. Whatever I gave it, scratch it, it's a nine. I'm pretty sure I, I gave it an eight or something. I'm raising my sausage and mash to a nine. Yeah, that was good. That was really good. Fajitas yesterday, seven and a half. And I'm giving this a nine. Mm -hmm. So I guess we'll wrap this one up here. Mm. You want to watch the Liverpool and Arsenal match? Football's on. So we're going to do Finish that. dinner, watch some football. And that's it, guys. That's day three done. Yeah, four mil. So join us for tomorrow for our final meal. Right. Time for our final dinner. Final meal of the week. Of the video. Tonight's menu, we have some pasta. Here are our ingredients. And here's our recipe card. Okay. Right, ho. Shall we? That's the time. Lava mm. smell. Very pestery. Lovely. Potatoes are gonna go in. Okay, put a bit of hot. Hot. That's our green sauce. It smells delicious. Mmm. And now that for another five minutes.
get dinner. Final meal of the week. Fourth and final meal. We've also put some cherry tomatoes on top just because we had them in the fridge and they were kind of nearing their end. So we thought we would just add them in. Pesto pasta is actually one of our favorite dishes. Like mm. it's one of our like go-to dishes when we're like short for time. But never ever have I had pasta with potato in it. No. What have we been doing? Actually works really well. The pesto is a lot more subtle than definitely. Yeah, it's not as like a jar pesto, but so fresh like the so basil. Fresh. Yeah, the, the potatoes are are a different one. Mm. Definitely needs some salt and pepper. If I was to make it again, I'd probably add another garlic yep. into the blender. Even the salt and pepper just brings out the flavours. Mmm, makes all the difference. All in all, it's been a very good week, I'd say, of dinners. Mm -hmm. And I think we've been saying this all week, guys, but it's just so super easy, convenient, and the food standard is pretty good. Yeah, very good. And it's definitely not something we'll, we would do permanently, but... Knowing that you're coming home and we know what we're having for dinner, it's just, it's the luxury, it really Definitely. is. And also you keep the recipe cards, right? You, mm. you We can make this again. Like We've, we've remade loads we've of mum and dad. We've remade lots of Gusto meals before. The sausage and mash for me is still number one. Okay. With, it was that gravy for me. Mm. I think I put it back up to a nine. Mm. Then it was good. the- The heaters. The heaters. They were okay. Okay, would make again. The fish would eat again. Mm -mm. The fish was really good. Mm -hmm. It was really good. But I think you're right. I think the sausage and mash has to take it. The, it was the gravy. The gravy was so good. Mm -hmm. The sausages were really good. And the, the way, like, I don't, we rarely roast carrots. And actually, I really enjoyed it that way. So yeah. it's nice. Even though they were burnt. <laughs> well, on the crispier side. I think I'm going to rate this the same as the fajitas. I agree. Because it's a nice quick meal. It's nice. It took 20 minutes. Yeah. If that, it was so quick. I love that you make your own pesto. So easy. Fresh basil in there. I would make them again. I would have them all again. Mm -mm. And there have been weeks where we've had gusto and that's not the case. No. There's a few that we're like, mm, maybe not. And like tonight, this is a quick meal. Really easy to make. Like feeling really tired today. So this mm. has been perfect just to like whip something up quickly. Nice, tasty, fresh meal. Mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'll agree, it's the same as the fajitas pretty much. So whatever I gave that. I guess we should call it there then because I have Absolutely. no idea how long this video is going to be. About four days. <laughs> we hope you enjoyed this video. Watching us in our kitchen, finally cooking. To I answer know. the questions, we do like to cook, but I understand why people question if we do or yeah, we'll don't do, yeah. enjoy it. It's been nice though. It's been like having guests around for dinner every night. Right. So, but for now guys, we will say goodbye. 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 And we will see you in the next video. Cheers.